The hurricane that's coming to the coast of Texas is expected to dump 8 to 15 inches of rain on our county. Our air conditioner went out last week. We got it fixed, thank goodness, but since the air was out, it got warm in the house, some of the honey that was stored in the kitchen, some of the small high beetle larvae started to hatch. And this frame of honey, this was full of honey, was ruined. So I put this frame out here, just set it on this, this rack here, so that the, the bees that are over here could fly over and clean the honey out. Looks like the ants have had a, a bit of a go at it too. There's pollen in there, but most of the comb is preserved. I'll put this in the freezer, killing all the bugs that are on it, and they can reuse this comb. But what I really want to talk about in this video, the reason I'm out here right now, is tomorrow morning we're expected to get the hurricane that's coming to the coast of Texas is expected to dump 8 to 15 inches of rain on our county. What I'm more concerned about, more than the rain, because I think the bees can handle that, is the amount of wind that we're expected to get. The National Weather Report says that we could get 35 to 45 mile an hour winds with gusts up to 60 miles per hour. So we're gonna head out to the beehives and we're gonna strap them all down just to make sure, give them a little extra security so they don't fall over in the wind. We have three of the bigger hives over here that we need to get strapped down and secured. And then the one double nuke hive that has the swarm in it. It already has one strap going around both of the nuke boxes, but we're gonna put another one around it to secure it to the, uh, the hive stand itself. The activity in the hive sounds really good. And there's a few bees coming in and out, so that looks good. I'm not gonna bother opening it. I'm not gonna do that to any of the hives this evening. I'm just gonna get it strapped down. This, this strap is plenty long. I'm just gonna undo it and then adjust it so that it goes around this hive stand. They hear me. Their, their pitch is changing just a little bit. Their tone is changing. I'm not gonna get in there and make them mad, but it's kind of interesting to hear the bees. They know I'm out here. They can hear me talking. They can hear me fiddling with this thing. So on this hive here, being that it's somewhat protected from the trees, it's probably okay, but just in case, just in case we wanna make sure that it's not gonna be blown over in the winds. We don't often get hurricane winds up here, but occasionally when something hits the coast of Texas, we do get some pretty serious rains and winds. And I'm just gonna tuck this up under it, hoping that it doesn't flop around too much. There we go. That one is now secured around the, the four by fours and around both boxes, so this box should be okay. Let's head over to the bigger hives. I got a pocket full of ratchets here. I have some straps that have been left out here, so I'll use these first. These are from my kayaking days. These, these bees can hear me too. The shorter hive would have less chance of getting blown away, but just, just to be sure, I'm gonna tie them all down. And again, these straps are going around the four by fours that the hives are sitting on. I suppose there's still a chance that the, the hives could be knocked over, 
but it would be a lot more difficult to knock all three hives with the bricks and the 4x4s over. So, just taking the precaution. Now I'm just taking this down and tying it around the 4x4. I haven't been in this hive very much yet this year. Earlier in the year I did a few times. I got a little bit of honey out of it. Mostly I haven't been in this one. This hive here, hive number six, tends to be a little more defensive. And you can see that right now. I'm banging around a little bit. And they're unhappy. That's it. We're gonna walk away. Yeah, those those bees are not so happy. Not looking forward to getting into that hive. When the bees come out aggressive and defensive, mostly defensive. I've been told the word aggressive is not so nice to refer to them because you know, <laughs> if you saw them on this uh, microphone you might say that they are being aggressive because they're attacking it pretty seriously but apparently they are more defensive than they are aggressive they're not out looking for trouble they're just defending their hive <clears throat> they don't like fast moving objects they want to go for those first so when you get in a mess you walk away and uh, hopefully the slow movement and, and the distance from the hive, the further you can put between you and the hive, will cause them to lose interest and go away. We're out of the main flight path of the bees now and we're about 100 yards or so away from the hive. So they've mostly left. We got one or two hanging out here. but. Really what I wanted to show you was just that simple procedure. A lot of people strap their hives down every time they go to the hive and I probably should learn to do that. But because that hurricane is coming, that made me think that I need to get out there and take that precaution, get those hives strapped down. In other places here in Texas, uh, people strap their hives down because of wild pigs. There's a lot of wild pigs and they'll come in and root around the hives and they might, might not even be attacking the hive but because they get in there and start rooting around they can knock hives over. So it's a good idea to go ahead and have the hives strapped down. Now it's done. This was a short special beekeeping episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the very first installment of the beekeeping episode where we, uh, myself and a few other beekeepers, local beekeepers, are extracting a large wild hive from a log. That uh, only part one is out. I'll link that right here. And um, part two, three, four, five, however many parts it takes to show that story will be coming out real soon. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so you can get updates. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for following along. I look forward to showing you more as this beekeeping journey develops and maybe as this hurricane develops, you'll see more of that too. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you soon.